I'm Sir Tap Tap, and did you know that you can play old Google Doodle games? I, I never knew. I never knew that. I, I guess it makes sense. I mean, they put a lot of work into it and stuff. It'd be a shame to only be able to play them one day. But yes, today's Google Doodle, in fact, um, put me at this screen, and um, we're going to check out the coding one. I actually played this. Everyone seemed to really like the, the, the wizard cat one. This was really fun. Um, I played, wow, 2016, really. Yeah, I did a Let's Play of that one, actually. But this rabbit one looks really cute. We're going to do it. Uh, this was 2017 uh, in December. It was the 50th anniversary of, uh, of kids' programming languages. So obviously, you know, it's a little programming thing for kids. So you guide your little bunny with these little code blocks and you eat the carrots. Um, I think it was Logo, if I'm not mistaken. I've never really used a kids' programming language, actually. Unless you count basic. Um, <laughs> I, um... It actually was my first programming language, though. TI-83 Basic. Oh my gosh. Uh, it was... clunky. Um, but yeah, I never used... I I took a look at Google Code Blocks. It seemed really neat. Um, but it's... Uh, they don't do... I think they canceled that project, but... It was pretty dang cool. Um, it was, worked kind of like this. You would drag pieces and, you know, put in information into, you know, loop statements and stuff. Uh, it was pretty cool. There's actually some other games, um, some full games based around um, programming and stuff. There's like Hack and Slash, I think it's called one on Steam. Uh, so let's go. Excuse me. No. There. Okay. Turn. One, two, turn. One, two. Yeah, it should be enough. I really like the aesthetic here. Uh, I'm a sucker for flat colors and like low poly stuff in general. I also like the like terrarium kind of vibe. Like that um, Kirby's Dream Course kind of thing. With just little bits of land floating in the sky and this little scenery. I love that in uh, Fez is a good example of that. Uh, all right. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. And then I'll end up here. Turn the other way. And then I should be able to just loop it. Right? I think so. Look at Mr. Bunners. Um, tell me, chat. Comments. Whatever. However. Tr what? No. This is not how I expected that to go. I think I meant to spin the opposite way, but it, it worked. You can't say it didn't work. Uh, and sometimes that's what real programming is like. You know what? It was stupid, but it worked! That's... You don't want to see other people's code. Sometimes what works and what's, you know, pretty isn't... <laughs> this is always the same thing. Um, but no, um, if you have any experience with programming, uh, let me know in the comments. I, um... It's not the most common job, but it's, uh... It's pretty cool. You could, I, I, just, I just like making things that help people do things, I guess. So let's try that same basic concept. Uh, let's see how that works out. Wait, wait, is it gonna do it one more time? Oh my gosh, it worked! <laughs> I think that's the exact same thing I used for the last one, but it works. Wait, did I not get... Oh, I did! Well, that was the shortest solution, wow. Six for this one, huh? Hmm, okay, so like... I need to go forward. I wanna get all three in one scoop. So, forward, uh, turn, one, two. I think that does what I'm thinking it will do. Mm, I don't think looping that will quite work, but I think we're on the right path here. That sheep is terrifying me, by the way. That, that snoot, I don't like it. Mr. Piggers is okay, though. Wait. 
but it's not quite how I... Hmm. No, not quite. I just... I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> it's interesting that the solution is least, um, least programming steps, not least rabbit steps. So loops are definitely your friend here if you're trying to get the high score. Or, you know, least moves. Hmm. Nah, I think he's stuck in a... Uh, no, go over the... Uh. What if I... Um. Wait, what did I do? No, <laughs> shoot. Um, frick. I have completely destroyed it. I, <laughs> this editing interface is weird. Step forward, right, one, two, loop that, loop that, but add one more step. There should be a turn here, right? Ah, let's just see what it does. Oh, yeah, there should be a turn. what I meant to do. Oh jeez. I almost had it before- wait. <laughs> it's doing something! I'm just gonna let it go. Nah, he's, he seems to be stuck down here. I think he's turning the same way too much. Wait a minute, I just realized- wait. Let's try that. I think that's what I meant to do for that first step, to loop. And... That is not quite what I meant to happen. Hey! If he gets... close. I think what happens outside of the loop. I wish I had more space here. Wait! I'm gonna laugh if this works. No, turn around! Turn! Keep going! Keep going! One more! One more! Yes! Yes! It works! Oh my gosh! That was... That's what, that's what real coding feels like, by the way. You just screw with it, and sometimes it works. Maybe not entirely accurate, but there are there have been times There have been times where that is exactly how it goes and I'm so glad that you could experience the miracle of coding with me today because <laughs> That's that was exactly it. Sometimes you feel like a genius. Sometimes you just you just screw with things and Eventually the error messages change. And you're like, yes, it's not working But I changed the error message. It's broken a different way now and then you just gradually understand the problem, and then it works. Look at that happy bunny family, by the way. That's adorable. So, here's here's to... Is this the... Oh, six, really? Wow. Huh. Um, didn't quite get that last one, but I was just kind of bumbling around. Really, six. So it's got to be two loops. That has to be... Two loops. I I just I just wonder. Cause if it's six, it can't be that complicated. Now I've never been into code golf. Has anyone done code golf? Um Code Golf is when you you make a program work with the least amount of um Well there's specific restrictions usually. But generally speaking, it's the least amount of, um, 
of characters. It worked! Oh my gosh, see? See? You, you get it, you, that, that really is like programming. I mean, it is. It's just really simple programming. But that's, um, <laughs> there you go. Especially with a little hint, once you kind of get it the stupid way, then you can go back and do it the right way. Um, that, that was actually really cool. Kids coding languages. Um, <laughs> like, oh, it's just regular low programming languages, yes. Uh, Blockly, I haven't heard of. Scratch, Blockly. Yeah, I would, um, oh, Java. I, I take exception to Java, personally. I learned Java as a kid. It's, it loves classes. I, I'm not a big Java person. I haven't programmed in Java in, in 10 years, I think. Um, I mostly do web programming, so JavaScript, HTML, PHP, um, and a lot of SQL, too. Um, you know, it's a, it's a query language, I mean, but it's, it's basically, it's just the same kind of thing. Um, yeah, I would say I'm pretty much equally split between web dev stuff and, uh, database stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, programming is cool. It's not... It's really not as hard as you would think. It's really not, um, it's really not too crazy. Um, the thing about programming is mostly about problem solving. A lot of it involves like, oh, you get stuck on a thing and then you Google, how do I do this particular step in this programming language? Um, maybe with these restrictions or whatever, and you figure things out on, on the go. Honestly, being, knowing how to Google properly and ask the right questions, uh, is, more important to programming than like memorizing all of the instructions like nobody knows the whole instruction set um i mean maybe somebody that like just prizes themselves on memorizing things but like you don't just memorize the whole c++ programming language like every single possible instruction um and just remember exactly how to do every single thing um you just kind of figure out how you do a basic thing you do that thing and then you add to that thing and that's that's not only how you learn programming that's how you generally do programming unless you know you know you've obviously you've done something before you might remember stuff but hey program is complicated <laughs> i forget goddamn the, the the syntax for um uh, creating a table in sql I, I feel like i google that at least once a year and i've been doing that for a long time um anyway that was a cool game um i always like to talk a little about programming i don't i don't have a great deal of opportunity to talk about that but yeah if you didn't know I'm a programmer, I am. SirTapTap.com is all me. Let, let's go. Let's go to... Where's my... Uh, where's my address bar? Uh, there we go. Yeah, SirTapTap.com. This is all me. I mean, it's WordPress, but... Um, I, I didn't make everything from... Um, from scratch just to like... Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at me. I can do things. And obviously I use like Discord's widget here. Two Discord widgets! double the fun that way um but uh i've done my customizations here and there um anyway i am sir tap tap um uh, maybe we'll check out more google doodles let me let me know what what your favorite google doodle was maybe i'll play another google doodle game i love web games i love free games um this it's stuff that everybody can play and enjoy uh it might not be as big as other things but hey i had a blast this took what you know it was just like 15 minutes, but hey, it was fun, and um, <laughs> kind of lucked into a couple solutions there, but uh, the, the, the secret, uh, I guess the kind of thing was to kind of teach you that loops, yeah, uh, iterating over stuff is a very big part of programming and kind of making things efficient, because <laughs> if you try to do every single step in that game manually, that would take forever, and uh, obviously you wouldn't get the high score. I, I'm tried to end this video like three times now. <laughs> I am Sir Tap Tap. Thank you for watching. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I I, I would just get out. <laughs>